5,000 pissed off kids. All right, I released a video on YouTube. Can I max my Stardew combat skill in one in-game day? Look at that joker. So in this video, two Iridium Needles. Iridium Needles are a special drop in Dangerous Caverns. So kill a boss monster, you can get the Iridium Needle. Trouble is, if you kill a boss monster, you get XP. But that's fine. I just find a crate that has it in it. Special item. Difficult Mines Skull Cavern. 0%. You cannot get the Iridium Needle without killing a monster. These two weapons here are illegal. I made a boo-boo. So tonight we're going to correct that boo-boo. We're going to do this challenge again with correct weapons. But that's not all. Before we do that, there were some, some interesting questions that we had in the comments. About three comments of it. If you get a slime hutch, and if you get green slime eggs, which you can get from a slime jack fish pond, if you kill slimes on the farm, you don't get XP. So up till now we've thought that you can't get into the Adventures Guild because you can't kill your 10 green slimes, you can't open the door. But if you kill the green slimes on the farm, the question is, does that count? We're gonna answer that question. And then there was one other idea that I cannot find the comment of again, and that is, do dead children give XP? <laughs> if you dove your children, and if you go into the witch's hut, and then you have those dolls that fly at you, does killing those give XP? And how does that, and, and everything around then. I have not doved children before. The only children I've ever had in Stardew was in child percent runs, and I just stopped playing those. So is the optimal run of this just dubbing loads of kids. Yeah, yeah, this th this has taken a turn, hasn't it? But not yet. Let's try the slime hutch first. Uh, combat farm, there we go. Iridium needle, artful crusader. These, illegal, get them out of here. Gone. So, slime hutch. We have found some Omni Geodes or Magma Geodes. We've cracked them open. We've got at least five Iridium ore and we have our one Iridium bar. While we're in the mines, we found a whole heap of quartz or a whole heap of fire quartz. We opened some magmas. We got fire quartz out of that and then we smelt those into some refined quartz. Cool, that was easy. And then in the mines, we just got ourselves a whole heap of stone. Cool, all of that without combat XP. Combat farm, everything's at zero. There we go, no shenanigans on this file. Notice how there are six integers here, but there's only five skills. This last one here is for the luck skill, which is still present in code, but there's no professions for it. And any time you are going to be given luck skill, the experience is just thrown out the door. So whenever you find a geode in the mines, you get luck XP, but it's thrown out. You never actually get it. That is the luck, the extra luck that you get when you eat food, when you wear lucky rings. So it's still in there affecting different drops. You just, you never level it. Up. Here he is. Here's the old boy. Okay, yes, I know what you want. I know what you want. Here we go. Big boy Gordon. He is an old boy. He's about 16. 16 or 17. Alright, it is now 10 a.m. Let's go build our slime hutch. Do I have room for it? Slime hutch. Build. Do we have space? <laughs> Dang it. We befriended Kent and he sent us a he gradually sent us a stack of mega bombs. Okay, there's our space. All right, there we go. Slime hutch built all without combat XP. So we walk back to the farm. Oh, I've got instant build on. Bumped and rubbing this morning. She told me you've got a new slime hutch. It literally just got built. I came straight from Robin's after I ordered this. I did not see you there. How did you bump into Robin? I was into slime breathing at your age. Is this Brandigan? Is this an old Brandigan? So the question is, how do you get more slime eggs? Because we can't get it from killing slimes. We've only got one, you can't breed one slime. We need more slime eggs. The Skull Caverns treasure floors only drop red and purple. The answer comes in getting some seaweed without combat XP. It comes from getting some algae without combat XP out of my way Demetrius and it comes from constructing a fish pond without combat XP and it comes from slime jacks because slime jack slime jack fish pond 
produce green slime egg. Uh, anyway, we're just going to get our fish, slime jack fish ponds and get our slime eggs from that. There we go. We have our first slime. That cannot hurt me. We have another slime. We have another slime. We have another slime. We have 10 green slimes. We now have a quest. Initiation. Zero of 10 slimes slain. Well, sorry kids, but here we go. 10 green slimes killed and they do not count for the adventure skills. We had the quest active. We killed 10 hatched slimes. Does not count to the Adventures Guild. We cannot get into the Adventures Guild. We cannot have the Infinity Gavel or the Infinity Dagger. So that is that myth busted. So that brings us to dubbing children. Let's start by having a look in the code. So I have not dubbed a child before. The only children in Stardew Valley that I've ever had is on a child percent speed run. And as soon as the child was born, I close the save, never to open it again. In Stardew Valley, you can have children. You get married, you can have children. If you want to, after that, you can go to the Witch's Hut, you can put a prismatic slime into the Dark Shrine of Selfishness, and your children get turned into doves. I've never done that before. Looks like I'm going to be doing it tonight. So first thing I want to check is what happens in the game code. So we look in locations over on the right here. There is no witch's hut. But if we come into game location, we can search for witch. And we can find here witch hut. Set up location specific flare. So if mail received contains cursed doll. That, I believe you get that from the TV. TV cursed doll. Here we go. Uh, check for action. This is what sets up the channels you can watch. So Mondays and Thursdays you get Living on the Land. Sundays you have the Queen of Source. Wednesdays you have the reruns. In the fall, on the 26th of fall, if you have turned any children's into Dove and you have yet to receive the cursed doll mail, then there is the question mark channel. If you watch the question mark channel, there. Current channel is 666, so we saw that further up there. Create item debris, 103, that is the ancient doll. You get a ancient doll and you receive the mail of cursed doll. So you watch the TV and then you get the mail of cursed doll. Witch hut. If you have received cursed doll, if you have watched that TV channel on the 26th of fall, then add character bat, negative 666. If you've turned more than one child into doves, add another character bat, 666. If you have turned even more children into doves, another bat, negative 666. So this is putting them in specific locations in the witch hut. And then after that, any more that you have turned into doves, up until the number of children you have turned into doves, add a character, add a bat, a random position in there. Every child that you turn into a dove, you get a bat which looks like a ancient doll in the witch hut question is do those bats give you xp because if they do you can make this stat really really high then the question is what is the optimal number of children to turn into doves <laughs> so let's have a look at bat this number here is the mine level do a switch on the mine level case 77377 is the haunted skull so that is the quarry mine negative 555 and negative 556 magma sprite magma sparker these must be passed in when you are in the volcano mines so in code they are bats but their names is magma sprite magma sparker negative 666 pars monster info iridium bat and then give it extra speed double its health curse style dot value equals true don't drop anything now in here in pars monster info it looks into the data file and in that data file it has information about health max health damage to farmer coins to drop i think that's a something that never made it into the game or that is what is used in journey of the prairie king unsure uh, if it's a glider duration random movements blah 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 objects to drop objects to drop is in the file resilience jitteriness speed mischance mind monster experience gained it's in the file it gets added as part of this for an iridium bat it is not cleared here the objects to drop is cleared experience is not cleared according to the code according to what i've just read in the code it looks like that doved children that reappear as cursed dolls in the witch's hut do give 
XP. We've got to test this now. We need to upgrade our house and we need to test this. We need wood, we need hardwood, we need money. Robin, I'm sorry to bring you into this. Ron, Robin, we've got important things to test. Get to your station. Thank you. Upgrade house. Is that done right away? No. Nope. yes, I just saw you in the kitchen. We can now get married. That is the question. Who are we going to marry? Whose children are we going to dub? Robin, once again, get here. There are children to dub. Thank you, Robin. I think this is the most cursed stream we've ever had. Here are the temporary residents of our future kids. Whose kids are going to make the most beautiful dubs? So you can get married without combat XP. You can get kids without combat XP. You can get the prismatic slime required to dub the kids without combat XP. You can complete the community center without combat XP. So the easy way is just to buy it via Jojo Mart, but you can do it with the community center. You either remix away the that monster bundle or you just purchase the solar essence or the void essence from Krobus because you can get to the sewers without combat XP. All right, Sebastian, love me. Hey, Sebastian loves me. Sebastian, date me, marry me, and show up at the wedding. Well, thankfully for Sebastian, it's not going to be his biological children. Sebastian, fill out all the paperwork for me. Life's going to be different from now on. You got that right. Okay, let's adopt a kid. Uh, relationships, no friendship decay. Oh. <laughs> Just put an auto peter. Let's do it. There you go. Yep, it's definitely the auto peter that's reducing the decay and not Smappy. Watch his nose get booped. Boop. Boop. He's going to fill in paperwork to give us a dove in larvae form. This question is seeded, by the way. The code for can get pregnant. If this is a horse or Krobus or a roommate, return false. Grandpa, go away. We've got kids to dove. I've done a good job with the place. Yeah, you don't know what's ahead. You tried your best. Thank you. The future of combat farm is in your hands. It always has been. Sebastian, all that I want from you is to fill out some paperwork. Yes. We need names. Do we have dove number one? What are some breeds of doves? During the night, the adoption agency dropped off your new baby boy. What should we name him? Pigeon? I see pigeon in all caps. Welcome, pigeon. Okay, we now have a kid. Let's give us some move speed. Zoom! <laughs> zoom, 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 zoom. Do you know that I'm a Stargy hero? The most prestigious award a Stargy Valley resident could receive? Isn't that great? And we go. Okay, we are moving too fast for this. It, it, it's like we're about to enjoy what's going to happen. We, we need to do over here. Okay. Excuse me, Hitchman. I need you to get out of the way. This is not a happy occasion. Little pigeon just arrived this morning. Nope, wrong one. Uh, this one. The one with the doves on it. Your children will turn into doves? Fly away. Make an offering one prismatic shard? Yes. Goodbye, little pigeon. Okay, next thing we need is to get the TV channel. So we're going to set our day to be 26th of fall. So now there should be a channel here, question mark, question mark, question mark. This should give me an ancient doll and it will give me the cursed doll mail, which then if I go back to the witch's hut means that pigeon will fly at me. You put this upon yourself. Now I'm free. <laughs> Ooh, ancient doll. You found an artifact. Yeah, yeah, I found an artifact. Little pigeon is now an artifact. Enjoy your new home, pigeon. You've heard of taking your kids to the museum. Now get ready for donating them to the exhibits. We've still only got the 50 experience points from mining. We have zero experience points in combat. Now we'll go back to the witch's hut, prepare to defend ourselves. If we go in here, we should get attacked. <laughs> Hello Pigeon, how you doing? Did we get XP for that? You can just leave, come back in, in the back. Let's go home and sleep. 
So I killed, I, I killed, I liberated two versions of Pigeon. Did we get XP? <laughs> okay, what did the code say for? Let's get this number up to five. Let's go and dove five children and see if all five appear. So let's sleep. Oh, paperwork, my favorite. All right, who's looking forward to for a little Atticus coming to join us. Why does the strategy work? Yes, we can hypothetically get an infinite number of children converted to doves. Take a while to set up. Oh, here we go. Atticus. We now have an Atticus. Okay, we're gonna be a bit more efficient this time. We're gonna get another child adopted. Great role model for young Atticus. Daddy just spends every waking moment going to sleep. Are we going to adopt another kid here, Sebastian? All right, a baby girl named Morning. Morning, morning. We've had our, our solemnness. We're just going to rush in for this one. Oops, missed. Oh, hello there, Pigeon. How you doing? Haven't seen you in ages. How you been in here? Oi, get away way with you. All right, let's get your siblings to join you. Goodbye, Atticus. Goodbye, Morning. So now if I re-enter, we will get three cursed dolls appearing. <laughs> which is which? This has got to be Pigeon, this is the original. Then we've got Atticus and Morning. So, three kids, doved. Exit, you enter. So, leave me alone kids. What happens if I do this? <laughs> so we need them to all be up here. And we need to get back in before they explode. Three hits on them. Hey, where'd the others go? Get back here and hug your daddy. Morning. <laughs> Morning, where'd you go? 22 XP each. Okay, let's get two more kids. Let's dove two more kids and let's make sure that they all appear. Yeah, so then it becomes an optimization problem. How long do you spend setting this up? So 22 XP, 15,000 XP total needed. 682 kids to dove. Sebastian just keeps thinking that these kids are going to fix our relationship. He knows I'm going to say yes. I'm going to let him fill out the paperwork. He knows I'm going to say yes. Does he not realize that these kids have disappeared? We are adopting kids to give us combat XP. Oh, what is the strategy? I'm pretty sure it was a YouTube comment on my latest video. And someone mentioned, uh, asked the question, do the dubbed kids give you combat XP? And I did go look at the code immediately and see the indication that it seems to be yes. Cannot find that comment again. We lost Pigeon to a tragic accident. I tripped. I went to the witch's hut to confront her with the abominable statues I got there. But I had, I was holding a prismatic shard in my top pocket. And as I was, when I went in there, I marched over to the statue and I tripped and the prismatic shard just came tumbling out of my top pocket and it fell, and poor Pigeon just went away. <laughs> nope, nope, Argon, at that time I was holding one prismatic shard. The stack of them came after. Hearts are upkept. Pro tip, not many people know this. I've just ticked Snappy. Also, every time that Sebastian sleeps, his nose gets booped every time this goes round, and that keeps him happy. Do the chances of having a child decrease if you already have one? No. No, there are checks to make sure that enough time has passed since the previous child pretty much to make sure that the previous child is out of the cot and checks to make sure that you've got enough hearts with your spouse but other than that it is just a standard chance it is seeded <laughs> he's just got a photocopy of the paperwork just puts a stamp on for the current date and the name well originally this was going to be another run at skull caverns this has turned into something else the adoption agency has heard about what's going on here and they are refusing to send any more kids here but Sebastian has relented. Come on, Pigeon Junior. We're welcoming you with open prismatic, with, with, with open arms. All right. Pigeon Junior with a dot. Welcome to our home, little Pigeon Junior. We currently have three other previously dubbed kids that are pissed. And we're about to have two more. Goodbye, Dolly. Goodbye, Pigeon Junior. So now when I come back in, there should be five dolls. This goes on indefinitely. There is no limit to the number of kids you can have doved. 
Now we've got five kids. We leave, we come back in. Every time we do this with just these five is 110 combat XP. We don't have to stop at five. Come on kids, come to daddy. So these three here are set. These three will always be in that location. The other ones are all dispersed randomly. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna edit the save file and I'm going to set this number to be huge. Let's start with 100 doved kids. Children turned to dove. We have five of them. We have 100 of them. Before I do this, I'm curious. Is the names of my old kids anywhere in the file? No. Here we go. Let me just make sure that there's no ads coming up. Ad is done. All right. Here we go. So we can open this and we can just look. <laughs> wow, this is like an eldritch monster. All right. Come at me. <laughs> Oops. Be free! I'm about to die. The statue stared through me. Yes, I may want to forget what I've just done. 2200 XP. <laughs> Alright, that was 100. What's next? 682? One visit? Yep. 682 doved kids <laughs> I think they might be mad can't even see the original three this is enough for combat level 10 in one day let's do this ah! Monster Slayer goal complete. <laughs> I killed enough kids. There's a Monster Slayer goal. Fly away, be free, be at peace, finally. <laughs> they all come back. Obviously they've got a bone to pick with you. Yep, it is horrifying. It's the within combat. A bomb attempt. <laughs> Kids got their revenge. That's 682. What do we do next? A thousand? You guys are all sadists. How could you let me do this? All right, daddy's home. Come at me. Yep, there's nothing more to say. 2000. Just stay here, I'll be right back. <laughs> I can't pause. I paused. I got a heal off. Okay, we'll cold them enough that I can now have proper control. <laughs> 
over my character. Oh. Too bad if I have some legitimate business with the witch. Oh, that's a lot of doves. I could not pause. Now that's an activity to really get the blood pumping before you have breakfast. Okay, we ramp it up to 5,000. It's going to lag so much that I'm going to die without being able to heal. Plus five defense, Java Ring, another plus five defense, and Iridium Band. This is no longer about getting from 0 XP to 10 XP, this is about surviving. Me surviving on my computer? The answer is yes. Behind this door, we have 5,000 pissed off kids. <laughs> Where am I? I'm not getting hit. Oh, I am getting hit. I'm on the dagger. That's all I know. Coffee! Shuffle shot. Monster Slayer goal complete. <laughs> I cannot pause. All I'm doing is just spamming right and left click. I have no idea where my farmer is. I have no idea which way I'm facing. My health is slowly going down. 340 copy. 366. <laughs> Blink C. Save yourself. Go somewhere else. We're about to die to 5,000 pissed off kids. Blinksy. We are breaking the game, literally. Let's increase our weapons. So we're going to go for Infinity Gavel and Infinity Dagger. Count them. Oh wait, count them. You'll see there's 5,000 of them. Oh, here they come. Here they come. The spam. They're dying faster. I do have kids. I have two very lovely kids that I have not turned into adults. Yeah, I haven't even activated half of them. Who <laughs> still can't survive? Let's change this up once again. Do two vampire rings and two crab shells and a vampiric enchant. Charge! <laughs> Here they come. This is really hard to know what's happening. Rip F, rip headphone users. My mouse is positioned over the wait to respond. The crash is a death. The crash means that I don't survive. I hope you're not scared of numbers. 
because this is a lot of numbers. Oh, I got damaged. Okay, we're now up to 5 FPS. The Vampiric Enchant and Rings. Heal so much. Okay. We're not done yet. There's just no words. I don't need to say anything. But the plan is definitely to go vampiric. We survived 5,000. What's next? 10,000. We double it again. My poor computer. Two Java rings. But you just farm for coffee. Do we do 5,000 again? but with java rings instead of the crab shells and see how, how much coffee we get or do we bump up to 10,000 now why not both one of those one of those let's go the game doesn't even recognize my input am i going backwards <laughs> i'm going backwards okay here comes some that's not enough we need more here we go here we go Welcome to the slideshow. I haven't even activated half of them. Activate more. Come on, move forward, move forward. More flying at me. Oh, here they come, here they come. Everyone die. I can see. Now that is a lot of coffee. How much money is that? Seven hundred and five thousand four hundred and fifty G. Diving kids is profitable. What is this stream? I must be a good person. We're gonna put the Stardew Hero trophy here to prove it. So five thousand. We survived. Do we double it? Do we see if my computer and if my character can survive ten thousand? What is our combat XP right now? Four hundred eighty-four thousand nine hundred sixty-eight XP. Also, children turn to doves, 5,000, nah, 10,000. So if the stream dies, thanks everyone for hanging out. This stream was a lot of fun. Are you ready for this? Hopefully the hut will load. This is 10,000, but I'm trying to walk forward. Ah, oh, here they come. Come on, need some more. Walk forward some more, please. Oh, you see, here they come. I'm also spamming the keyboard now.
We had one almost crash. Oh, rip headphone users. <laughs> Turn your volume down. No max amount you can have in the witch's hut. Come on, next wave, next wave, next wave. I'm trying to walk forward. Come on, walk forward. Okay, brace yourselves. Ah. <laughs> I'm a headphone user, rip me. We have dubbed 10,000 kids and every time we visit the witch's hut, this happens. I'm sorry if your stream volume was up high before this. Oh, I can see. Almost 5,000 coffee. Oh look, I've got stream music going. I think we may have survived. Wow, just wow. Do I really get an exact stack? That's a lot of coffee. 10,000 pissed off dubbed kids. Honey, I dulled the kids. <laughs>